Zealand right now. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker. I call uh, Tim McIndoe. Mr Speaker, it's a great honour for me to take the final call in this final stage of what I think is a very commendable bill. And I'm delighted to be able to add my support to it and to commend my hard-working colleague, Jackie Dean, the member for Waitaki, who has put considerable effort into bringing this bill to the House and seeing it through all its stages. And it's a great credit to her that it is on the verge of being passed this afternoon. Those of us who have bills in the private member's ballot but have been unlucky enough to this point not to have had them drawn are always a little bit envious of those who have enjoyed that success, but it would be churlish to be jealous. I think it is just a fantastic achievement for her, and in particular because she is focusing on something that is such an important issue. And I want to thank all members who have spoken in this debate and have supported it right through its passage through the House because we've all acknowledged something that we share, and that is that as New Zealanders we do hugely value our environment, we appreciate the importance of conservation. There will always be political debate between the parties as to priorities and whether correct focus has been given to this issue or the other, but we are pretty universally concerned when we hear some of the dreadful things that happen. And uh, Catherine Delahunty, who's just resumed her seat, referred to some of those things, and other members who have spoken before me have done likewise. We are outraged when people try to smuggle our treasured and endangered species out of the country, or when dreadful acts of cruelty are inflicted upon precious birds or animals, or when our native flora is in some way abused. Because the vast majority of New Zealanders love the outdoors. We love being able to get out into our superb environment and to take advantage of living in God's own country. And I choose that phrase wise, uh, deliberately because I don't think I've ever visited another country that is as naturally appealing as New Zealand. There are many other countries with wonderful um, places to visit and beautiful environmental attractions, but it seems wherever you go in New Zealand, we are blessed with an abundance of greenery, of relatively clean air, and we all want to protect that. So, as I say, I want to thank Jackie Dean for the fact that she has focused on an issue and brought a solution to a problem that many ad identified as being long overdue for a remedy. The fact that I, I, I think some speakers have mentioned that there's been no significant change in the penalties for several decades indicates that there probably is a real need for this to come into force as soon as possible. And I note that a number of the submitters particularly supported that aspect. And so, as this is the final stage, I want to thank all who contributed to this debate. I want to acknowledge the many parties across the House have indicated their support for it. I want to thank again Jackie Dean and congratulate her. This is a very significant day for her in what has already been a very successful political career, and I'm sure all members of the House would want to congratulate her on, achieve, on her achievement and, more importantly, thank her for what she has done. Well done. <clears throat> Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. A party vote has been called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 33 in favour. Green Party. 14 in favour. New Zealand First. 7 votes in favour. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 vote in favour. Act New Zealand. 1 vote in favour. United Future. 1 vote in favour. Brendan Horan. 1 vote in favour. Members, the ayes are 117, the noes are 3, the motion is agreed to.
conservation. Conservation Natural Heritage Protection Bill, third reading. Call on Members Order of the Day number two. Social Security Clothing Allowances for Orphans and Unsupported Children Amendment Bill, interrupted debate on first reading. Members, when we were last on the Social Security Clothing Allowances for Orphans and Unsupported Children Amendment Bill, Melissa Lee had the call and has three minutes remaining if she wishes. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Speaker. Melissa Lee. I do indeed would like to continue a little bit because I, as we draw close to the uh, dinner break, I was wondering if I was once again having to. Uh